Hi, this is Hasse from the Musical Companion, and you're watching Live Prague. Hello there, welcome to LiveProg.com and welcome to a new video review, one of the last I'm recording in 2012. Looking back on an amazing musical year, um, heard many great albums and met many great musicians. And one such great musician is Hasse Froberg, and of course I have the review of his album. Hasse Froberg and the Musical Companion, the second release called Power Play. In July 2012, Hasse Froberg and his musical companions traveled to Holland uh, to perform in La Caille in Helmond. Now, it was a bit tricky because the next day they were scheduled for a performance at the Night of the Proc Festival at Lorelei. And it was even tougher for Hasse because Hasse also had a spot with the Flower Kings on the Lorelei Festival. So he had like three shows in a row. Which is quite something, um, but well, it was really cool that he came to Holland and played there, and I had a chance to see him there and to speak with him. Um, and I, I really discovered that when it comes to music, Hasse Froberg is a very passionate man. If you look up his uh, biography, which is on uh, Wikipedia, uh, you will find that when he was 10 years old, he already started his first band. So from very young, he was raised up, uh, well taught to how to play instruments and already was able to play in some form uh, in a band. And that kept on going and well in the early 90s he joined with the Flower Kings and well kind of stayed with them. Um, but then the Flower Kings took a break. Now Hasse Froberg is not the man to just sit around and wait for the Flower Kings to get back. No, he wanted to keep on going but he didn't like projects so he wanted a band. And that's when he started um, Hasse Froberg and the Musical Companion. He found some musicians that kind of shared his passion for music and the same ideas that he had in mind. In 2010 they released their first album called Future Past and two years later in 2012 we finally have a second release called Power Play with the track listing. Um, 2012 was a very busy year because as you all know it was also the year that the Flower Kings returned to the proc stage with a new album. So he had two albums out. You could say it would be a lot of stress for him but you don't notice anything on this album. When you listen to Power Play there are no signs uh, that he was rushing things. On the contrary I gotta say I am very impressed by the album. Um, Hasse was kind enough to give me a copy when he performed in Holland, so uh, I heard the album after I saw him perform on stage. So in the live setting I already heard a couple of tracks from Powerplay and I gotta say live they rock, really fantastic and this shows what, a, uh, what an amazing band it is and how, what an amazing group of musicians he gathered around him that are really in tune with each other and both really feel the same way and, uh, and give out the same musical vibe. Very passionate. Venice, California. more about the album the cover I mean that is you gotta see it. it you notice it immediately because of course it has a sort of a shiny color especially when you put some light on it you know you can almost use it as a mirror and you open it up it, it's like a, a sort of a, a gatefold cover for an LP but then um, you know in a CD version so you have to extract the CD like this and then you have it I'm not too keen on this kind of covers. Um, I prefer the jewel case, but okay, it's his choice. And 
I'll live with it. Um, and then, of course, we have a booklet. Um, well, the booklet doesn't have much. It's mainly lyrics. And, of course, pictures. Well, half pictures of the guys. Um, the lineup should be somewhere in here. As I mentioned, it's only lurks, but here we have some credits and thank yous. Um, on keyboards, Kjell Haraldsen. On drums, Ola Strandveld. Of course, Hasse Froberg, all kinds of guitars and vocals. Um, Thompson on bass, and Anton Lynche on lead and rhythm guitar, and twin lead guitar. Two guitar players. Um, in the live setting, I gotta say, um, Mr. Anton Lincho really impressed me. Wow, an incredible guitar player, you know, it's really great to see him play. But another guy also impressed me, and then I go back to the music. Um, Kjell Haraldsson, keyboard player of the band. Now, when I look at the album, um, I gotta say, you know, it's, it's a really captivating album. It's, it's when you start the first track, uh, you get sucked in the music and, and you're taken on a ride and well only to be released at the very end of the album um, and it's not a really wild ride I mean you, you don't get a lot of time to catch your breath I gotta say this there's, there's one real moment of rest very well close to the end of the album it's called white butterfly it's a short song two and a half minutes just acoustic guitar and vocals From that on, and, and if we move on to the longest track on the album, that is The Final Hour. And The Final Hour is also the most prog track on the album. Um, it's long, that's one of the reasons, but also the keyboard parts by Kjell Haraldsson. Wow, they are so fantastic. And you, you're listening to the song and all of a sudden you get this feeling, oh my god, did Tony Banks guest it on this album? But it's all him, it's all Kjell Haraldsson. It's really cool, really awesome. You know, there's this you know, ghost of Genesis going through the music, um, which, which well, adds to the whole prog atmosphere of the song. Um, apart from that, I'd say it's, it's, it's more rock than prog, over generally speaking. I mean, there's, there's beautiful keyboards in it, but you know, it's, it's a lot of fun, this music. That's, that's what you get. From this album there's nothing no pressure on you know we have to adhere to some proc standards absolutely not they just make the music they want to make and it's a lot of fun and uh, listen to a track like venice california no proc at all but it's really catchy and life it rocks fantastically you know i, I really enjoyed that track uh, when they did it on stage um my river to cross very catchy with these layered harmony vocals uh, also a very beautiful song, also one of the longer tracks, about 10 minutes. So there's, there's a lot of beautiful music in here. Um, it's very different from the Flower Kings. Despite the fact that he was working on two projects at the same time, it doesn't really matter. It, it doesn't have any reflection on Power Play at all. Um, power Play is, as the title says, Power Play. It's a powerful album, it's catchy, uh, it really grabs you when you listen to it, but most of all, it really uh, sends out this passionate, fun vibe. And that's what I like about him, and that's what you see. Also, when you speak with Hasse, you know, he's a very nice guy, and he's such a great musician. So I'm really, uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing him again on stage in Holland somewhere, sometime. Uh, at the moment, of course, he has other things on his mind. No problem with that, but I really hope he will return with a new Hasse Froberg and the Musical Companion album, because what I heard from him so far sounds like I want more. Powerplay, Hasse Froberg and the Musical Companion, yours to check out.